Hi everyone, my name is Lindsay. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm here to talk to you today about manifestation and what that means and how we can start calling new things into our life and where we might be stuck uh, to previous narratives. So we're going to talk a little bit about how our past can be affecting right now and how we can start projecting into the future what we want to call into our lives. Uh, th this is something that occurred to me last night, so I hope you enjoy. And if you have any comments or questions, like please leave them below. It's an open dialogue. This isn't supposed to be for everyone. Uh, if it resonates with you, then you're the person that's supposed to resonate with. And that means that we're in the right place. Uh, anyway, I look forward to hearing for what you have to say, and uh, I'm hoping to create more of these videos in the future. So to jump right into it, this is my nifty little chart to kind of explain what I'm trying to share today. Uh, so I'm going to just kind of go through what each of these represent and what they mean to us. So person in the middle, that's us. Um, I drew a stick figure, but really this is our awareness, like our witnessing. And you can kind of see uh, directed towards that way, we have the field of witnessing. So there's little lines right there that show us that is where we are currently looking to the future in our life. But where we exist is in the moment of now. We're always in the moment of now. This up here represents time. So uh, this is supposed to be past. This is going to be present. And that's in the future, what we're trying to pull forward to us. On the side here, as we go up higher, we're raising our vibration of energy. And then these would be considered lower vibrations of energy. So what we truly are is a collection of narratives. This is where we exist right now in our time. It's based off of our belief system. So we can see that we have some beliefs about happiness. Are we a happy individual? Uh, things about love. We also have sometimes like low self-worth loneliness, grief. So these are things that all exist with inside of us, um, but where we're operating from right now in the present, in this moment of time, is based off of those circumstances in the past. These X's on the line represent moments or memories in our lifetime that align with this narrative. So we see something, for example, like average intelligence, which is a comparison between us and our peers. So there are moments in our past life, not meaning, meaning still this life, but in the past, not a previous lifetime, um, where we had experienced something that confirmed this belief of average intelligence, meaning maybe you only got C's in school, right? And we can kind of see right here that there's a little bit of a pattern. It's like two, two, two. So this is like something that's reoccurring, cyclical, right? And then there's also stuff like low self-worth, right? There's a moment here where we've experienced low self-worth. And then we had a few other moments, right? We can see loneliness down here. There was a very lonely period of our time. And so that's something that kind of still exists. Same with love. Maybe this was like a relationship where you got a pet, for example, experiencing these high things of love. And so these other lines with these little dots mean that these are untapped narratives in our past. Because really life is a collection of things that have happened and then we are creating a story about it. We are storytelling our life. So something up here is like really high vibration, right? And so what that means is that there's untapped potential, meaning that there is a memory associated with that narrative, but it is not activated, which is what the gray line represents. So you actually have other stories about how your life is going, where you can look back, see it, and then activate that narrative or timeline in a sense. So all of these things, and they're going to be different for each person. This could be something where um, you know, like someone who's very musically talented, like, like all these stories that we tell about ourselves, right? It's, it's endless. Like these lines are only a small fraction of what actually exists and the untapped potential of our storytelling about our lives, right? So 
when we're looking into the future, because we're still right here in the moment of now, we're looking to our new field of vision, right? So we can see with these two lines, this is our field of witnessing. Right now, this is our directed path. We're tending to go on these lines, these narratives, and that is based off of the stories that we told ourselves in the past. However, there are also other lines and other narratives that exist down here. But this is something that we don't perceive to be going on because it is not within our vibration at this point in time. That doesn't mean that they don't exist. It means that they are somewhere else. And right now at our vibration level, right here, it is not where we are residing, but you can get there. But the opposite is true as well. You can also go up here to these higher vibration of energy. And so what happens is, is that we're often trying to like success, whatever success means to you. Maybe it means like owning your own home, being in a loving relationship, or just feeling good about yourself, like having like truthfully loving yourself, right? These are other options. And so what happens when we are trying to go towards this timeline, like this is the one we want to go to, right? This is the one that we have our eyes on. And there's also this opportunity too, but we don't even really have a hint of that yet because it's not in our field of vision. So when we are trying to manifest something, that means calling it in from here, we have to do it from here now. So what we're trying to do is keep our field of vision. So like if we really just wanted to focus on success, we should like close our line of vision and just focus solely on success and what that means to us. That means getting really specific about what success means. Does that mean owning a house, for example? And if so, like, where is that house? What does it look like? What materials are made of it? What environment is it in? Where is it located? Who are you living with, right? These are specific things. And the more specific we get, the more that we call in this line to us in the moment of now. And so we are seamlessly moving through all of this at the same time. Now, sometimes when we, we get really specific, right? Like, okay, like I really want this house. I really want this house. I really want this house. But it seems like stuff keeps happening that's not allowing us to get there, okay? And so when this is existing, we need to actually look back on our narratives back here that is existing within us, these are belief systems because they're the narratives, the stories we tell ourselves. So there might be something that is tethering you over here that is not allowing you to get over here. We are tethered right now. Let's say we are tethered in low self-worth here and we are trying to call in the success of like owning the house, right? And, and success of owning a house, like it, the material thing does not really matter. It's just, it's something for you to prove to yourself your worth, right? It's just a tool. It doesn't actually matter. So with the low self-worth, these are the memories, right? So we have to go, we have to get quiet with ourselves and we have to look back. Sorry, my paper's falling. Uh, we have to look back and look at these associated memories that exist with this narrative. So we're gonna look at like this one time when we were treated really poorly. Maybe this is something that happened as a kid. And honestly, a lot of times it's stuff that happened as a kid because we have an inner child who remembers a lot of things and didn't get to express everything. Um, that doesn't mean it's always true though because that's just a narrative. <laughs> But what we could do is look back and try to figure out where did these things, feelings happen? And then we'll look back at this memory. And then what we have to ask ourselves, is that memory true? Maybe um, the, as a child, this person was bullied, right? And when we were bullied, it made us feel really bad. But the person who was bullying us actually had low self-worth projection. That's very common. 
And so when we're looking back and feeling this, we have to like recreate it. We have to get to that moment where we feel exactly what it felt like in this situation, the emotions that existed. We have to get quiet and we have to feel it and we have to really, really embrace this negative emotion. Now that is hard at times because it's emotional. There's a lot of stuff coming up with us. But once we clear one of those memories and rewrite the story, we actually allow ourselves to move further along the line that we are trying to manifest in. And so when people are talking about with pain, there's pleasure on the other side, this is part of it. When you take and you are the light itself, when they're talking about putting your awareness or putting your light onto something, it's putting your consciousness onto these old beliefs. And again, there's so much more to this. I'm just really trying to make it as simple as possible. But, you know, sometimes life might be really good and then one of these timelines exists. Like maybe there's a bad accident that happened, right? When... You know, a lot of times, like when people in like a, like let's say a really uh, devastating car crash where they almost lost their life, what this actually does in like let's say it's in this timeline, that accident, and for some reason we shifted, right? But this actually, if there is another thing that occurs here, it creates more awareness to do more work. So when things happen to us, it's not what happens. It's how we respond to it and what we do for it. And we often hear people talking about, you know, this tragic thing becoming the best thing that happened to them because it created more awareness. And the more that we release these narratives that no longer serve us, the more that we elevate in our vibrational energy. There is so much more to this. And I'm hoping that this is helpful in trying to call things in. And... I feel that when we are shifting our vibrational energy, what's actually happening is we are shifting parallel universes into other places of existence because it's not about the world. It's about you who is shifting and changing. Uh, I hope this is helpful for you all. Uh, please leave any comments, questions, suggestions. Uh, there's, it's not written in stone, all of this, but it is just a tool to help you see potential and unlocked potential and rewriting your old narratives that no longer serve you. Again, in the moment of now, which is the only place that it actually exists, which is why when time is a construct, it's because all of these exist right now. You're just in the process of clearing these for this part. These are two forces of the same thing but only operate here and now. And please, if you do like videos like this, I'd like to create more content similar to this, um, subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell so we can keep you in the loop of what else might be helpful as we all transition through life.